What's up, YouTube? Back at you with another video. And in this video, I'm going to give my prediction for the Tennessee Volunteers versus the South Carolina Gamecocks. Uh, it was a good matchup last season. And uh, South Carolina was able to beat Tennessee last season. Uh, shot a lot of people. You know, a lot of people figured that Tennessee was going to win that matchup. But uh, South Carolina came out swinging and uh, put up about 63 points on the t uh, Tennessee Volunteers. So, uh, uh it's going to be interesting to see what happens in this matchup. Uh, I know Tennessee uh, would like to write their wrong from last season. And I'm going to just read off the stats. You got two good teams. Uh, South Carolina, you got Spencer Rattler. Uh, so far, he's thrown for 1,242 yards. He has seven touchdowns and two interceptions. And he's going to be going against uh, Tennessee's Joe Milton. He's thrown for 925 yards with eight touchdowns and one interception. So uh, it's going to be a quarterback battle, in my opinion. Um, but both teams, man, um, both teams have the potential to put up a lot of points. Uh, we are no coming into this season. Uh, Tennessee was considered one of the best offensive teams in the country. And um, it's going to be interesting to see how well they perform, you know, uh, they're going to be at home, and um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. You know, of course, that running back, they got Jalen Wright and Jabari Small. You got two uh, elite running backs, in my opinion. Uh, got Brew McCoy at wide receiver. I mean, um, they got uh, Dante Thornton, you know, another guy that they got at a transfer for, a really, really good player, Ramel Keaton. You know, the list goes on. Uh, Ramel Keaton is their leading receiver with 205 yards. Uh, he has three touchdowns. But uh, this Tennessee offense, man, is really, really good still. Um, Joe Milton has had some bumps in the road, but uh, this might be the matchup what they the team might put it all together. But uh, we have to see what happens. Uh, defensively, Tennessee start out really, really well, uh, in my opinion. Uh, they still have some uh, things that they got to work on defensively. But uh, they got guys like Aaron Beasley back there and linebacker, really, really good player for them. Also got Warren Burrell, uh, another good player. Um, just a lot of good guys on that, that defense. You know, Elijah Herring. Uh, the list goes on. You know, a lot of good players on that side of the ball. But uh, this Tennessee team uh, is going against, a, in my opinion, South Carolina team, you don't know what you're expecting with them. You know, sometimes they can put up some points and sometimes they can't. And um, South Carolina, of course, like I said, Spencer Rattler. Uh, but they also got uh, Mario Anderson. You know, he's their leading rusher with 129 yards. Uh, he only has one touchdown. And they got DeCarian Joyner. He has four touchdowns. Uh, a South Carolina team that's struggling to run the ball, you know, uh, they would like to be able to establish the run and not focus so much on passing the ball. But uh, a team, they definitely have to uh, be able to run the ball, you know. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, Spencer Rattler, he's been sacked several times this season. The whole line just is just not really good. You know, yeah, for a fact, yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Uh, he's been sacked 16 times. So uh, that South Carolina O line is going to. I think they'll have some problems in this matchup. Uh, Tennessee is a team that can create a lot of havoc up front on their def uh, defensive line. Uh, they don't want to they, – they better get, you know, fixed in this matchup because uh, Tennessee is no slots when it comes to uh, getting pressure. And um, as a matter of fact, let me just look at this stat real quick. Yeah, Tennessee has 16 sacks on the season. So <laughs> that doesn't bode well for South Carolina, but – it's going to be interesting to see what happens in this matchup. Um, Receiving-wise, like Xavier Leggett is the, the guy for South Carolina. He has 556 yards uh, receiving. He has three touchdowns. Uh, they would like to get some more guys, you know, uh, going, like Trey Knox, you know, uh, get him going. He only has one touchdown on the se season. And Eddie Lewis, another guy that needs to step up. Uh, and they also have Juju McDowell. Uh, like I said, it, it just can't get the running game, you know, going, you know, for uh, South Carolina. Uh, they're going to have to be able to establish the run and, you know, put up, you know, get the passing game going. Because uh, this Tennessee team, 
uh, in my opinion, is probably the better defense out of the two. Uh, Debo Williams, that linebacker for South Carolina, really, really good player. They got De- David Spalding. You know, he only has one exception for South Carolina. But I'm going to read off the stats for both these teams. Total yardage, South Carolina's putting up 415 yards a game. We're going to break that down. It's 340 through the air and 75 yards on the ground. Like I said, a team that likes to pass the ball, but uh, they got to establish this run, you know, uh, to make their offense balance and uh, keep defenses guessing on what you want to do. Um, Tennessee, they're averaging 463 yards a game, which is 234 through the air and 229 on the ground. Uh, Tennessee doesn't have a problem running the ball. They're doing a phenomenal job. Like I said, Jabari Small and Jalen Wright, just two good running backs. And um, Tennessee, like I said, in the past um, two years or so, been able to run the ball first. You know, Tennessee's a run run team. You know, a lot of people wouldn't think that by watching them, but they run the ball really, really well. Um, so uh, it doesn't bowl well for uh, South Carolina. Uh, yards allowed. South Carolina's allowing 434 yards a game. That's 317 through the air, and that's 117 on the ground. Uh, definitely got to clean that up against Tennessee, in my opinion. Tennessee, on the other hand, they're giving up 302 yards a game. They're giving up 190 through the air and 111 on the ground. Uh, so uh, that's not bad, you know, in my opinion. Uh, this Tennessee defense uh, is not, like I said, not slouch, you know, uh, to hold teams to 300 yards a game, that's really, really good in today's time. You know, most teams average about 500, about 450 to 500 yards a game. So uh, that's not bad for Tennessee's defense. You know, it's not where it wants to be, but it's not bad. Um, last couple of matchups between the two, uh, South Carolina took a loss to uh, North Carolina early on in the season, 31-17, uh, to beat Furman. But then uh, took another loss to ten, uh, to Georgia, you know, 24-14. to 14, But a very, very close matchup. Uh, they went out and scored on Georgia first and uh, made it a game, you know. Uh, Georgia just barely got out of there, but uh, Georgia got the victory. And then also South Carolina beat, you know, in my opinion, a decent team in Mississippi State. A lot of people don't think Mississippi State is really that good, but uh, they got a veteran quarterback in Will Rogers, so. Uh, South Carolina was able to beat them 37-30. to 30. So, uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens in this matchup. Tennessee uh, beat uh, Virginia team early on in the season, 49-13. Beat Austin P 30-13. Had a slow start off in that matchup, but came out on top. Uh, took a loss at Florida, though, to the Florida Gators, 29-16. Uh, the offense just couldn't get going, you know, in that matchup. And then the last matchup against uh, UTSA, uh, beat them 45 to 14. So uh, this Tennessee team, man, they, they have the potential uh, to be really, really good defensively. Uh, they just got to play, in my opinion, a game where they're playing really, really well, both offensively and defensively against a team of their caliber, in my opinion. Um, South Carolina is an SEC opponent. Uh, like I said, he put up 63 on the last season, so um, Tennessee's going to have revenge on the mind. As far as my prediction, I'm um, seeing the line. They have Tennessee at 12 and a half points. Uh, I got Tennessee winning this matchup. I just don't think, you know, South Carolina got the guys up front to block. I think Tennessee's going to have fun getting in that backfield. Um I think Spencer Rattler is going to have a rough time. I think he's going to get sacked several times. Uh, Tennessee is going to – that stadium is very, very loud. And um, I think I can just see a lot of, you know, false starts and things like that, you know, penalties piling up for South Carolina. Uh, they're not going to sneak up on Tennessee this year. Uh, I just don't see it. Tennessee is going to be ready for this game. Their defense is going to play really, really good, in my opinion. Um and offensively, Tennessee is just going to be able to do what they want to do. I think they're going to run the ball down uh, South Carolina's uh, defense and uh, just be able to air it out. You know, I expect a big victory for Tennessee. But uh, what do you guys think? You know, leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. 
And once again, if you haven't, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll definitely be back with more college football content. Thanks, guys, and roll tide.